Hey guys, I'm Alan Denny. This is Hungry for Heat. Today I'm doing a hot sauce review for Stoke the Fire Small Batch Hot Sauce. You may have seen these guys on Instagram if you haven't. Um, that That's their Instagram name, Stoke the Fire Small Batch. And the company. Uh, they have a website that is www.stokethefirehotsauce.com. I know the lovely couple that uh, makes this hot sauce, so they sent me this t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. I've already got compliments on this shirt. It's a red pepper and garlic. Looks like they're in love. So I take it as that's um, a combination they like to use in their sauce with peppers, a lot of garlic and, and other ingredients, and they, they really love that. Um, the three... So they sent me three sauces, and the three different flavors are the Grinch, which is a green one. Nice green sauce. It has super hot green, green super hot peppers in it. Then there is one they're famous for, Bear Spray. Boy, that sounds interesting. has super hot peppers in that. All three of these do. And then there's Limited Edition. Grizzly bear spray. <laughs> That's got to be even worse. On each of these, it's got a sticker on the neck that says very hot. So Stoke the Fire small batch is from a small town in the mountains of BC called Revelstoke, which is six hours east of Vancouver. Roughly six hours east of where I'm, where I'm from right now. I live in White Rock, BC. I'm really close to the Washington State border. These guys are a bit more north and northeast. Uh, Vancouver is north of here, uh, about 40 minutes or an hour. Rebel Stoke, BC, is six hours east of there. Um, give you an idea, I went, I have gone to Kelowna, Kelowna, BC, beautiful place. It's close to a Soyuz and uh, Peachland and Summerlin. Great area to grow peppers, and a lot of people out there grow peppers and make hot sauce. Um, Revelstoke is known mainly for hiking trails, mountains. They have Revelstoke National Park and Glacier National Park, which is a very famous one. Today, I'm going to go ahead and review the Grinch. And it says it has, as far as ingredients, green super hot peppers, naturally smoked garlic, onion and salt pretty simple pretty straight to the point sounds pretty yummy let's see what this bad boy Grinch tastes like I almost feel like I should be waiting till Christmas to do this since it is called the Grinch so again um, they sent me the shirt they sent me the three sauces they sent me some stickers that I've I've since put away, but there were brown stickers of this guy. Their bear mascot, Revelstoke, BC, Canada. Looks just like that, but it's brown. A few stickers like that. So again, green super hots, naturally smoked garlic, onion, and salt. Let's see which one hits me first. Garlic, of course. I do smell some salt. This is going to be hot sauce. Hey, hot sauce. I can tell already. I think it's some on the spoon there. I'm not going to fill it up. It has a nice texture. This is a beautiful sauce. The consistency is really nice. It's just com complete consistent. Like the color and everything and the texture, it's just beautiful. It looks perfect. Picture perfect sauce. Mmm, that's good. It is very garlic forward. Mm, get in the heat. Oh, green super hots. Nothing like mustard green super hot peppers. Oh, I love, oh, I love green super hots. Super hot mustards.
this will go on anything. It's got the flavor. It's got the heat. It's burning me up. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> but it is. Oh. It's burning me up. And these guys are true to their pepper and garlic. And to their heat. As you can see in the picture. I like that picture they, they have there. Of the mountains. This is um, most likely their farm. In Revelstoke. Stoke the heat. Small batch. Oh, wow. That's burning. Burning my throat. I'm trying to push back hiccups. Oh, lovely sauce. I love the balance though of the garlic, the onion, and the salt. The heat is rising up to the top of the back of my throat on both sides going up by the, it's just burning like sizzling. This is hot sauce guys. A lot of times people think you know they see a green sauce, they see a verde sauce, they think oh that's gonna be a mild sauce. A good thing for the warning labels. And these guys have what's called their um, stoke meter. This one very hot well just like this one very hot the bear spray and then the grizzly bear spray very hot and there's some information right there some contact information facebook and instagram and their website stoke the fire hot sauce.com thanks for sending me the sauce guys and i will get to the bear spray next, and last but not least, this guy, the hottest one. I can't wait because, well, it's my guess that this one's probably going to be as hot as this, pretty close. You know, green super hots, you don't even underestimate them. They're as hot as the red super hots. They can be for sure. The mustards, man, some of those mustard slimers and stuff can melt your face right off. This one I'm kind of scared of because it's limited edition. Grizzly bear spray. That, I think that's going to be the hottest. Can't wait to try it. Good taste in sauce, guys. Check them out on Instagram. Check them out online. Send them a message. Tell them you saw my review and tell them you're interested in trying their sauce. And try out a few bottles. Try out a t-shirt. Get some stickers. Wear the merch. Represent. For Stoke the Fire, a small batch out of Revelstoke, BC. Very good sauce. It's, see, it's got my nose going. My mouth is still burning. It's starting to come down a bit, but that lasts long enough, man. That's that's really hot. And I love it. I love the flavor. I'm Alan Denny. This is Hunger for Heat. Thanks for watching, guys. And always remember to stay hungry for heat. I'm going to go put this on everything I have today. Everything. It's going to go good on everything. Thanks for watching.